My name is Elizabeth Fitchner. I'm originally from New York State. I did my undergraduate degree at Cornell University in plant sciences and then went on to do my graduate work, both my master's and PhD, at North Carolina State University in Raleigh. For my graduate work, I focused on the fields of both plant pathology and soil sciences. And I'm currently a farm advisor with UC Cooperative Extension, working in Tulare County on orchard systems that focus on both fruit and nut crops. IPM is of value in orchard systems, particularly because these are considered permanent crops. When a grower makes an investment to plant an orchard, they're expecting that orchard to live 10, 20, 30 years. For example, in Tulare County, we have pistachio orchards that are nearing 40 years old. In an orchard system, a grower doesn't have the opportunity to change the cultivar that they plant or even the type of crop that they're growing on an annual basis, like one could if they're growing corn or wheat. Once they plant that crop, they have to manage it in the given location that it was planted. There's no change of the environment or location, the cultivar, or even the crop variety or type. In orchard systems, growers can't rely on the use of plant resistance. Once an orchard is established, a grower will have to utilize multiple techniques or integrated pest management to manage the different challenges that arise while rearing that crop. One of the values of IPM is that a grower can utilize multiple techniques to target different elements of the life cycle of an insect or a pathogen or different elements of the disease cycle. When one manages a disease in an orchard system, they can utilize the disease triangle to focus on different elements of management. For example, they can focus on managing the host, the pathogen, or the environment over time. Oftentimes, it's the interaction of these three components that determine whether a disease epidemic will occur. Generally speaking, we can't change the environment dramatically because the crop is planted in a given location. However, we can monitor the environment to look for time frames where a crop may be more susceptible due to environmental conditions, such as rainfall or humidity events. By monitoring the environment, one can time the use of insecticides to properly target the different stages within the epidemic of an insect or a disease, for example. Additionally, one can manage the host to reduce the conduciveness to diseases and insects. A very good example of this is management of black scale in olives. By pruning a tree to open the canopy, we reduce the humidity within the canopy and create conditions that are not conducive for the survival of the insect within the canopy. Similarly, opening up a canopy may reduce humidity and conduciveness for several fungal diseases. In addition to managing the host and monitoring the environment, we can also monitor insect populations or pathogen populations to determine whether there is a risk. When managing or monitoring insect or pathogen populations, we can properly time spray applications to the, to the time frame when the pathogen or an insect is most susceptible to sprays. This greatly reduces the cost of chemical use by growers because they're not wasting chemicals on applications when they're not needed. And secondly, it's also of benefit to the environment because less chemicals are entering natural systems. In addition to monitoring the host, the pathogens, and insects within an orchard, growers may also include cultural practices such as sanitation measures. For example, proper sanitation may minimize populations of pathogens or insects within an orchard. In my experience just with diseases, for example, by reducing the amount of inoculum of a pathogen in an orchard, one can often delay the onset of a disease cycle in a growing season. This can be of particular benefit in an orchard in a Mediterranean environment such as we have in California because the pathogen may not build up in populations during a time frame when environment is conducive to infection. 
And the reason I say this is because we only have rainfall in the winter months in California. So proper orchard sanitation to reduce the amount of primary inoculum in an orchard may delay the onset of the disease cycle and limit the, the need to actually use chemical control in orchard systems. Integrated pest management is of value in orchard systems because it saves money for the growers, it offers an element of environmental protection by reducing spray usage, and it also offers a value for worker safety, both in the handling of pesticides, application of pesticides, and non-target human contact with pesticides.